An operation is composed of processes designed to add value by transforming inputs into useful outputs. Inputs may be labor, energy, and capital equipment. Outputs may be physical products or a service. Processes have a significant impact on the performance of a business, and process improvement can improve a firm's competitiveness. We chose to take a look at a live uh, process analysis situation of a brewing company. Uh, in order to do this, we uh, actually went to Big Grove Brewery in Iowa City and uh, determined different things and uh, followed the process with their brewmaster. We decided to go to Big Grove Brewery and get a look for ourselves at their real life brew process. Um, they start with the milling process, um, adding water and sugar, and that'll be shown in this video. After the milling process, uh, Big Grove soft pipes um, that liquid into a whirlpooling um, section, which has added temperature as well as adding everything together, which will then immediately be soft piped over to the cooling section um, before it goes to the next process. In the middle, okay. and uh, even after we, uh, it forces it so tight that actually when we get in, that cone stays all the way to the stall. Okay. okay, at that point here, we're probably about 200. After the cooling process, it is hard piped over to the fermenting process. Uh, at Big Grove Brewery, they have um, six of these large bins uh, that kind of look like silos, and there's not a lot physically done in this stage. Uh, ultimately, what happens is a lot of the physical um, objects that is within the beer still in the cooling process falls to the bottom of this, um, saving a lot of the regular beer. This thing's a huge... That'll hold one, that'll hold two batches. So it'll be two 60 batches. barrels, yep. Okay. After the, fer the fermenting stage, um, it is soft piped over to the two different distribution channels. Um, kegging is their highest demand with the in house bar, um, and they have a canning section which is in less demand with Big Grove Brewery being a newer brewery, but they do sell cans at High V and other. Stores. Yeah, if you, for the size of us, yes, it's very fast for the size of us. Uh, if you look like a Sierra Nevada. So, starting with the flow unit, we're going to be using ounces and we're going to be doing it on a per hour basis. Uh, for the milling station with the one resource, they can go through a thousand ounces per hour. Through the whirlpooling uh, station, they can do 600 at each resource, so 1200 total ounces per hour. At the cooling station, same exact thing, 600 for two resources is 1,200 per hour. Um, at the fermenting station, each resource it can do 210 ounces per hour, adding up to be 1,050 ounces per hour. And then at the canning station, the kegging station, the canning station can go through uh, 1,000 ounces per hour with one person at the station, and the kegging station can go through 450 ounces per hour with one person at the station. All right, so as we can see across all of the resources, the kegging station is the bottleneck because it, it can only go through 450 ounces per hour. So, uh, and we are thinking because canning has such a low uh, demand volume and it can produce so many at a time, we think that it would be better used to move uh, this worker over to a second added kegging station to improve the bottleneck of the kegging station to 900 per hour and then only use canning on a um, make to order basis. Uh, the final recommendation that we would have for this brewing process would be to add another resource to the kegging station in order to relax the bottleneck.